Hey guys, Black Jammer here again. Uh, today I just got a quick kind of unboxing sort of spotlight of some stuff that I got in the mail. Now, these are two things that are really good if uh, you're just starting out. Um, let's say you're just started out painting or you just start out with a hobby if you started uh, miniatures painting, uh, modeling, that kind of thing. I've got two things here. First is the Pathfinder miniature series. This is a Golden Guardian. Um, this is a really neat mid uh, because it's it's very simple. Uh, it's basically just an axe and a body and then a base, of course, you see there, the black base in there. Um, it's a very simple model, not a whole lot of variation. Um, Color-wise, it's basically just a grays and any colors that you want to make for secondaries, like magma colors and stuff, because we got, uh, you can almost call them like veins. You can see where uh, on certain spots of the model he's got sort of uh, striations in his armor and stuff where you're in, and the weapon as well. You can change it to make it look like uh, magma or kind of like pulsating magic, anything you want to kind of come up with. The other here is a Benedict Evil Warrior, and I've had this uh, my eye on this model for quite some time. As you can see, also both made by Reaper. Uh, this is the Dark Haven series uh, of Legends. Um, I've had my eye on this one for quite a while, and this is a great figure. Uh, actually, pretty ornate for for how cheap it is and for the size and the quality. It's actually pretty well done. It's basically just a sword arm and then a body and uh, also shield, of course. So these are two really great things to start out with because they're very simple. This especially, not a lot of colors going into it. This has got lots of easy stuff to paint, like chainmail and armor. You know, not a whole lot of skin. Same thing with this. Basically, no skin on either one of these. Uh, lots of leather in this one. Really nice. Uh, good variation. Instead of armor or chainmail, you get some leather. But um, two really great figures. Very cheap also. This was only 7 bucks, And this was, I believe, six fifty seven 7 bucks also. So very cheap. You know, just for the, the price of, you know, going down to McDonald's and getting yourself a bunch of food. You know, you get one of these and uh, you know start to get it painted up. Um, go ahead and open up each one. We'll go ahead and start with the Golden Warrior or Golden Guardian, pardon. So I picked these up. Um, I'm probably not going to do a series on these. Maybe I had an idea for a speed paint. That's probably what we'll end up doing for these. So we got a black base, real standard. The axe is, for lack of a better word, mutilated. Here is the axe. <laughs> quite messed up, so I'm going to go ahead and attempt to remedy that just real quick. Really quick. There we are. Um, straightened out as best as I can without breaking it, of course. And make sure each plane is straight. There we go. So in relation to the half of the axe head has to be straight also. And that should do it just fine. So there we go. Went ahead and straightened out the axe just there. Um, it's a little bit wombly in the middle there. Wombly is a word I just invented, by the way. There we go. So axe, and then body. So the body, he's got kind of a samurai kind of tone to him. It's very, uh, it's very straight with uh, skirt kind of armor plating, and then the boots especially. So he's got this cool like ninja thing going on up here with these spikes up here and these bits up here. In the front, very simple. Basically just a face with two eyes, no real face, just an armored mask. And then as you can tell, these uh, these striations, these kind of veins, it's just here. These sort of vein things, and then on the back here you can see these weird, uh, these weird little areas where you can put some battle damage on him and stuff. He's got some on the back as well here, it's just there. So a really cool figure. Axe is really neat. The base, pretty standard, you know, the square base, 25mm looks like. Go ahead and set those to the side. And then we'll get into Benedict. So, hmm. It's actually Benedict, yeah, Benedict with a K. Interesting enough. Crack this open. I actually really wanted this model for a long time. I just never gotten around to getting it. Right now I got a, I kind of have a, a lull in the hobby. Working on the, of course, the, uh, the Cyclone still. But, you know, it's still always nice to get something else different going on. So, there's an enormous amount of flash. But here's the back side. He's got a really amazing shield. Um, let me get that. Let me get the autofocus off for you really fast. So, here's the shield. That looks pretty cool. Big undead goat head demon thing. 
the Nautilus back on, see if it'll work. There we go. Pretty sweet. A couple of uh, shoulder pauldrons, helmet, cape with some fur just back here. Got chainmail in the front. The light would cooperate. Let's have a look and see what the autofocus off. There we go. So he's got standard kind of knight helmet and then these really heavy shoulder pauldrons. And he's got, you know, armored up legs, both sides. Quite a bit of flash. You can see his big piece here, just there. Tear that off. But the sword is connected by a piece of metal. Just go ahead and tear that off real quick. Just like that. And there's a sword arm. Pretty standard sword, nothing really fancy. Got some runes in there and stuff, you know. <clears throat> also lots of flash. These are master series, you know. So they're going to have lots of flash and lots of bits on them, you know. But um, still great quality. A great quality. Cool models. And turn the autofocus back on. Especially, you know, bang for your buck type of thing. You know, eight bucks. Or not eight bucks. Probably about 14 bucks for both of these, you know. And it's not gonna break the bank and these are really nice when you get the painted up too and I'll, I'll be I'll be sure to get this one probably done in a speed paint or maybe that one all I don't know one of these is gonna be in a speed paint so speed paint is basically just me painting the whole model from start to finish and then I'll speed it up and put some music in the back or some nonsense back there so it looks fun so you can see the entire process from start to finish and you know have it done in three minutes instead of watching a video, video series over you know a couple hours also uh, kind of a fun tidbit when I got the package for those I basically bought these in addition to buying these this is the I'll just pull one or two out put two out this is the Chessex series of dice these are 16 millimeter uh, these are I think they're called blue ice or are they light blue ice and these are wonderful dice um, Chessex is basically the biggest name in dice I mean being the biggest name in dice is basically being the biggest name in garbage truck manufacturing. I mean, it's not really, you know, that flashy or important. But they look great. They have a wonderful tinge to them. They have white uh, marble in them kind of thing. Let's see if I can get them in the middle of the frame. There's a really nice white marble feel to them. There we go. Very pretty. They come in a nice little case. And these were, like, eight bucks also. And I got 12 of these. So, new gaming dice. Uh, new speed paint kind of idea project. Just been kind of a little unboxing. Nothing real fancy. But thanks a lot for coming by, guys, and checking it out. Um, be sure to be on the lookout for the next video uh, involving either one of these. Not too long from now. Maybe a week or two. Um, not even two weeks. Probably a week. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching, though. Take it easy. Cheers.